Hello and welcome to a new video on my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show you how you can copy a existing record or uh, item within a SharePoint list, uh, because this is not in the standard functionalities of SharePoint lists. So what we're going to build is a button that when you select a record or an item, you will be able to duplicate or copy this record. All right, so the first thing that we want to do is head over to Power Automate and create a instant cloud flow. Let's give it a name. We call it duplicate pattern, but you can give it any name that you'd like. And we want to take the forest selected item from a SharePoint list as our uh, trigger. So let's create this. So in the property section of the forest selected item, you can select the site address where your uh, SharePoint site is stored. And you can also select the, the list name. Uh, this will be automatically inside the drop down. If it isn't, you can just copy the URL from your SharePoint site and uh, and it will do uh, wor will work as well. All right, so the next step that we want to add to our flow is the get item function. Uh, make sure you cho choose the singular one and not the get items. So here again, you need to fill in the site address list name um, and one thing you need to add here more is the unique identifier, which will be given from the for a selected item. So what this step does is it gets the items, all the information, the column information uh, from the record that is selected um, before pressing the duplicate button. Uh, and this information, it needs the, the flow needs this information to fill in the, the record that we're going to create. So that will also be the next step. This will be create a record, the SharePoint function, create an item. Uh, and here, once again, you need to fill in the site address and the list name. To duplicate or copy this record, uh, the last step that we need to do is when we go to the advanced parameters, within the create an item function, you have the option to predetermine all of the column values. Um, and in this scenario, what we need to do is we need to put pull the dynamic data for the selected uh, item that we've collected with the get item functionality in our flow and put this dynamic data within all of the fields. Uh, so for example, when we take the title, it needs to take the dynamic data from the get item function so that it will copy the one for the selected uh, for the selected record. And we need to do this for all of the uh, all of the records. So that's what we're uh, for all of the columns. So that's what we're going to do now. All right, I saved you guys some time. Um, I've put in all of the dynamic uh, uh, values within the columns. So when we gonna hit save, we will be able to start testing the flow. Uh, so let's head back to the SharePoint list and, uh, and see uh, if it all works. All right, here we are at the SharePoint list, ready for testing. Uh, so I already have a record right here. Let's just change some uh, values. So you guys believe me. All right, which do we have? Let's change this one to British Airways. And add some data right here. I'd like to fly first class. Uh, let's go. And now we're going to test our new button. So we're going to select this record. This is the record that we'd like to duplicate, that we'd like to copy. We're going to have to automate. And here is our button. And let's go and test. All right. So as you can see, it might happen that it starts asking for some action uh, for some extra permission. I'm very good at this. Let's go. All right. So let's take a look at our flow. And as you can see, eight seconds ago, it ran and it succeeded. So we probably need to refresh this web page for it to. Ah, there we go. There we have our duplicated records. We had one record and now we have two records. So uh, it worked. Uh, if you guys have any other questions about this topic or any other topic, uh, just let me know. Uh, and uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and uh, see you in the next one.